Oh, hey, it's me again, your favorite half Persian. You know, there are so many funny things about the Iranian culture, but we don't have a lot of comedians to talk about it. But I promise you, the comedy is there. For instance, my dad's name is Iraj. He had a brother named Turaj. If they would have had more boys, three Raj, four Raj, five Raj. I told that joke once to a non-Iranian crowd and an Indian guy loved it. He came up and said, that joke about Iraj and Turaj, it made me laugh so hard, my friend. I said, how was that? That's a Persian joke. You're Indian. He goes, I can relate. My name is Raj. So there you have it. Anyone can relate to funny jokes if you explain them correctly. Speaking of explaining things correctly, my Amish Shireen knows one of the favorite traditions of Persian New Year is to clean the house. Did you know that? Spring cleaning started with Persians. The tradition is you have to shake your house up and make it totally clean for the whole year and for guests to be able to come and visit. So I wanted to give you a fun video of what it looks like around my house when Amish Shireen starts yelling at you to stop touching that nakon, get your feet off the couch, don't sleep there, that is for guests. This is Amish Shireen from the point of view of her wooden spoon. Enjoy! Oh, 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 do you not see Coaster? Are you a donkey? Shut on! You might not find What are you doing? Hey! Do you not find Hey, 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 stupid dog, what are you doing? This is Persian rock! Come here, come here! Look at this lazy. Ow! Get off! Ow, what are you, what you are doing on the couch? Oh, this is for guests. This is for guests only. Go sit what there. The hey, hey, are you joking? Shoes in my house? Over there. Go over there. Hey, hey, what the, get your feet off the table. Are you crazy? Disgusting feet. Where the hell Ow. do you think you're going? What? Huh? What's the problem? No, you put the seat down. Hey. You, you animal. You missed that spot. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Turn the light off. Ha! <laughs> Does that remind you of a woman in your life? If so, send me a message and let me know who it is. I can't wait to hear. All right, enjoy some more people. I might see you later. Nowruz is Persian New Year. Wait, a lot of you don't know what Persians are, do you? All right, well, let's back it up and get ready for the quickest history lesson ever. Nowruz is a holiday that roots back to an ancient religion, Zoroastrianism. It's celebrated at the spring equinox, usually around March 21st, and it doesn't matter if it's midnight or four in the morning, Persians will party at that exact moment to ring in the new year. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. First, let's explain what Persians are. You see, once upon a time, the Persian Empire ruled most of human civilization. They conquered, they thrived, and they brought innovations that we still use today like pajamas, the windmill, the game of chess, brain surgery, the birthday cake, ice cream, tambourines, well, you get the point. As the years went on, they were defeated by various people like Alexander the Great, the Romans, Mongols, and other skirmishes, and the territory was reduced to the area known as Persia, which in 1935 they renamed Iran. In 1979, Iran had a huge revolution. Many fled all over the world to start a new life. The one holiday that Iranians held on to with pride and will still celebrate to this day, no matter where they are, is Nowruz. Proof that even without your country, you can still preserve your culture. March 21st is the first day of the spring. That's Iranian New Year. Ha! See? 